In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a border for your videos that has round or curved edges in Premiere Pro. All right, so the first thing we have to do is create a rectangle shape that has curved or round edges. I'm just gonna move my playhead over here. So to start, we just have to go to our Essential Graphics panel right here. If you don't see it, go up to Window and then down to Essential Graphics. Then we're just gonna click this little thing right here, New Layer, and choose Rectangle. That's gonna put a little gray rectangle right here and your graphic will appear on your timeline right there. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is go over here to Align and Transform and just this one that says 100, click on it, slide to the right so we can scale that up so we can see it a little bit better, maybe something like that. Then you're gonna click on Fill Color here and slide this down so it's white, click OK. Then you're gonna check off Stroke and yours is probably, whoops, yours is probably down at one like this then you're just gonna increase it. And if you notice that we increase it, the corners are still gonna be rectangle like square corners. So what we have to do is go to this little wrench, click on it and change line join from miter join to round join and click okay. And now you're gonna see that when we scale it up, those corners are now going to be round. If you want it even more round, like if you've scaled this up and you're like, oh, I need it to be even more round, just click this little plus to add another stroke and then crank that one. It might turn gray, so you have to click on that and just make it white so it matches everything else. I'm gonna minus that one because I don't need it. Okay, so once you have that all set, like your corners the way that you want, then just kind of scale this the way that you want first, like scale it down so you get the top and the bottom good, then go to the edge here, stretch this out till you get it to where you want, stretch out this way, and then make sure to go up here for Align and Transform and click this one, that'll put it in the middle from top to bottom, and then click this one. That'll put it in the middle from left to right. So let's say I had this over, you click that, it'll line it up right in the middle. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to put your videos into the border here. Now, the first way I'm gonna show you, I would only use if you know that you do not need any audio from your clip or it doesn't have any audio, and maybe if you're only gonna use one clip. Otherwise, I would skip to the second method that I'm gonna have the time listed on the screen right now. Okay, so the first one is where we're gonna drag it into Essential Graphics right here. So I'm gonna have this sailing yacht clip. It doesn't have any audio. I'm just gonna drag it and dunk it in underneath shape right here. Then I'm gonna click on shape and just click on mask with shape. That's gonna put the border around that's black and it's gonna mask the clip into that border. But like I said, if you do it this way, you're not gonna be able to deal with any audio. So let me show you method number two, because I think it's a lot better. So I'm just gonna delete sailing yacht out of here, and then I'm gonna click on shape and make sure that mask with shape is unchecked. So you can actually see your shape again. Then we're gonna drag our graphic to at least video layer three. If you wanna go higher, then go higher, but definitely not on two or on one. Then we're gonna go get a new clip. So I'm gonna pick this waterfalls clip this time, because it has video and audio. I'm just gonna click on here and drag it to layer two. You wanna go to video layer two and avoid layer one for now. And when you first drag that in, it's gonna look backwards. It's gonna look like the clip is on the outside and your shape is here. That's because we have to go over to our effects. So if you don't see effects, go to window and then click on effects right here. And we're gonna type in track matte key. So I'm gonna type track. We're gonna find track matte key right here and drag that onto our video clip. Then while we're clicked on our clip, we're gonna go up to Effect Controls up here. If you don't see it, again, Window and Effect Controls. And we're just gonna go down to the bottom here where Track Matte Key was added and where it says Matte, you're gonna change that to Video 3 because we put it on Video 3. Now, like I said before, the real benefit of this method is that if I play it here, we actually get to keep the audio. We can use the audio from our clips. Plus, we can drag other clips underneath this graphic as well. So I'm just gonna go get another one, let's say this mountains one, and I'm gonna drag that one in. And if I click over here though, you'll see that it's back to the way that it was before where we can't see anything. So we have to make sure that we either drag track mat on, or we can go to waterfalls, go to effect controls, and take track mat key, go edit and copy, and then go to mountains and paste it on. Now. This is something that I wanted to show you because if this one here is 4K, this clip is 1080. So it'll put the track mat around the clip at its proper size. 
So what you then wanna do is right click, if it's the wrong size, right click, and then go right here to set to frame size, and that'll bump it up to match the other clip. And then another little trick you can do is if I go over here uh, and you type in transform and drag this one right here under distort, transform on mountains, let's say. You have to make sure though that it's above, like so see how track mat key is here and then transform is below it. Drag it above track mat key. And then we can use this scale here if you wanna scale things up or down within the border there, which means you can actually animate it if you want to. So I click toggle animation here at 142%. And then maybe I go ahead here, put another keyframe and then put this back to 100. Then I can just move these keyframes to the start and the end. And now when we watch this clip, it's actually gonna animate, like even creates like a little parallax effect within there because of the way that clip was filmed. All right, so now let's take a look over here at the different types of borders that we can create by using this method as well. So this one right here is just a color background. So if you wanna do that, I'm just gonna delete that out of there. If you wanna make that one, all you have to do is go over here and click on this thing right here, new item, and then go up to color mat, then just click okay. And then when the color picker comes up, you can either try and pick a color or pick whichever color you want yourself. So I'm just gonna pick kind of a dark like green here that might match this uh, this footage right here. So click OK, and I'm gonna call this green OK, and then it's gonna pop into my project files here. So you can just drag it in, and then now it's gonna be the what the border is around it. Okay, next we have, maybe you wanna bring in just a random image so to put behind it. So I'm gonna delete this one out and go find that 50 beautiful right here. So this is just kind of like a paper background thing. So I'm gonna drag that one underneath and you can see that nothing shows up because I have to right click and go set to frame size and that'll put it up to the proper size and it'll be right behind my video there. And then if I go to this one, this is a video that I've put behind there, like a kind of a background animated video back there. So if I delete that one out and then go find sun over here in my files right here, double click, mark out and then drag that one in underneath. That's all you have to do for a video is just plunk it in. Again, if it was the wrong size, just right click and set to frame size. And then for this last one, I've just created a border of the exact same video clip here. So to do that, I'm gonna delete that one out. I'm just gonna click on this one and then hold Alt or Option on a Mac and drag this down. So if you want it to be the same, like the border being the same video clip, that's all you do is drag it down. And then on this one, it's not showing up right now because we have to go back to our effect control. So right here and go back to track mat key and get rid of this mat. So I'm gonna have none. So now it looks like nothing because it's underneath it. So to make it kind of stand out, we have to mess with it a little bit. So I'm gonna click on it and then go over to Lumetri color here. Once again, if you don't see it, window, and then go to Lumetri color. And I'm just gonna play with a few settings just in basic correction. So you might see all these things here. I'm just gonna use basic correction. I'm gonna make it a little bit more blue. You can see it starting to show up there. I'm gonna crank up maybe some of the pink, maybe drop the exposure a bit, increase some contrast, maybe bust up some saturation there, right? So you can just play around in here and create kind of an offset of color. And then now when we watch it, it's going to be playing as the border at the same time the clip is playing within the border. And that's it. That's how you create some unique borders that have curved around edges for your videos in Premiere Pro. If you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you next time.